If you would like to check out all of my sounds, samples, and presets, all links are in the bio. All right, guys, we're going to be making a song today just from um, a progression I heard this morning from an old rehab song. Got inspired, so I'm like, all right, we're just going to hop in and just uh, see what I can make. In the original intro that I recorded, unfortunately, got messed up. So um, I already know what it sounds like, but it's a fire song, so check it out. So I'm gonna try to build that four chord progression out. Um, we're gonna do, then we'll make it come back up to the five right here. Maybe on an end like that. So we'll put these up an octave. So it's kind of like a guitar, sort of. I like this. I just thinking about where to take this. All right, let's layer a little pad underneath of that. All right, so let's build these let's build these chords out a little bit. All right, so I want to get the um I want to get like an idea going. So we just have like a chord progression and a little rhythm, not really that much. So I'm going to get some vocal samples from from Splice and try to get some sort of like ad lib something going. Why do I love you? Why do I love you? We're gonna work with this. I'm gonna get the vocals going so it's like not boring. We're not just like playing this over again. All right, so Vocal Synth Pro, this thing's like super good. I made a little video on it, but put the tone up. It just makes it. Why do I, love you? I like that a lot. Okay, put a radio filter on that. We're just gonna take more of these since we're gonna use like the same pack. I, I feel weird like going between like vocal packs. So the if you guys are interested, Brooke Williams vocal pack on Splice. It has to make sense melody wise, but not like sound wise because it's it's basically we're doing vocal chops, but like not within the same family. Like it's it's a it's, uh, it's the same family, but it's like it's different household. Same family, different household. Okay. All right, so we got that going. So I'm gonna add the bass, add that little bass line, and then I think that's gonna like really solidify what we're trying to do here. That kind of stuff, kind of sounds like you're hitting like a uh, like a stick off like a big water jug or something. Dun, 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 dun. I think that would sound a lot better with like a, like a little bass guitar if we got like a, so there's a bass in here somewhere. All right, so that could work. So we're gonna do a little bass fill going into that last chord. Sorry, so we kind of have like a little, like a little foundation down. I'm thinking we could add a, like a lead on top of this, or maybe a lead just countering this, this one. The first half is going to be like a chill drop, so it's going to be like a, maybe even take some more stuff out. The second half is going to be that. Well, maybe a different lead though. So instead of just having like a crash, it's just going to be like a. Chip. So we're just making, we're basically just making this like a super tight drop. Oh, 
And then we're gonna add some reverse spaces in there at some point too. So we could do like this first one, alt left, reverse that. All right, so I stopped recording for a second, but I just wanna like get this melody um, recorded in the moment. So this is what I got. I'm gonna get back to recording in just a sec. I like that. All right, so we're back in the project here. I probably worked on it for like an extra hour after I did that melody video. Um, first thing is I added this little marimba intro. So I took the, let's see where it's at. I just took that chord progression and then put the that melody on top of it. And then underneath that, I layered this other preset from Prevail. This is the Magical Pluck preset. Um, it's originally four voices of unison, or one voice, sorry. It's originally one voice, which means you can only play just um, one note at a time. But I knocked it up to four just so we can play it with the uh, progression. Just adding a little more atmosphere to it. A little reverse into it. And so for the, the drop vocals, I added a little um, plus 12 layer. Just threw that vocal up an octave. But for this section right here, I went up plus seven. So it's like a little Miramasa type thing. Gives it like a little dark. And then more stuff for the vocals, a little bit of reverb, automation. And yeah, so the first half is like a stripped back version. There's not too much going on. Oh yeah, one thing for the bass line I wanted to do, I wanted to add a little swing right here. So it goes 16 machine swing and do a little bit of that. And that main melody at the beginning is pretty much what I settled on. Did the velocity cut off as well. And it's that Summer Feels lead from Prevail. It's probably my favorite sound from it. And then I just added it on top. It's like a nice little layer. And that's pretty much it with everything I did. I did a little bit of mixing. I'm gonna play the entire song, probably. Yeah, I'll play the entire song. Play the entire song after this. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys later. If you would like to check out all of my sounds, samples, and presets, all links are in the bio.